Hello friends, today we're going to see about the basics of inhalational agents. From this video, you'll know. What are inhalational agents? Classification. Mechanism of action. Minimum alveolar concentration. Factors increasing MAC value. Factors decreasing MAC value. Blood gas solubility. Oil gas partition coefficient. Before going to the video, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get regular notifications. Also, follow me on Instagram. Now we'll get on to the video. Inhalational Agents Inhalational agents are a chemical compound given via inhalational route to possess general anesthesia. These inhalational agents are mainly used for the maintenance of anesthesia, however, they can also be used for induction especially in children. Classification according to the chemical structure. Non-halogenated anesthetics. Halogenated alkanes Halogenated ethers, fluorinated ethers. These inhalational agents are highly inflammable. But due to fluorination decreases flammability also increase increases potency. Mechanism of action Enhance the function of inhibitory ion channels. GABA, glycine. Blocking the function of excitatory ion channels. NMDA others, affect the release of neurotransmitters. The anesthetic potency of an inhalational agent is directly proportional to its lipid solubility, oil gas partition coefficient. This is called as meyer overton rule. Dosing of inhalational agents. Inhalational anesthetics potency can be determined by minimum alveolar concentration, MAC. Minimum alveolar concentration, MAC. Minimum alveolar concentration is nothing but a concentration of inhalational anesthetics at which 50% of patients will not respond to the stimuli. MAC is the concentration of vapors in the lungs that is needed to prevent movement, motor response, in 50% of subjects in response to surgery. MAC denotes potency, power of chemical that makes effect, of anesthetic agent. MAC is inversely proportional to potency. A lower MAC value agent will be more potent. In the same way, a higher MAC value agent will be less potent. For example, Nitrous oxide has a MAC value of 105 so it is less potent. Whereas xenon has a MAC value of 70 which is more potent. Next, we will see the factors that increasing MAC value, remember this one. In all active conditions, the MAC value is increased. So you can easily know the factors increasing the MAC. Infants are too active. So, infants increase MAC value than neonates. Neonates increase MAC than adults. These MAC values are get decreased by 6% for every decade of life. Anxiety, we are very active during anxiety. Hyperthermia, greater than 42 degrees Celsius. Hypernatremia, chronic injection of alcohol, cocaine, and acute amphetamines, these agents are potent CNS stimulants. So it increases the MAC. Factors decreasing the MAC, all depressed conditions will decrease the MAC value. Such as old age. Blood gas solubility coefficient. It is the solubility of the agent in the blood. This is the most important factor determining the uptake of an agent and speed of induction and recovery. For example, xenon. Its MAC value is 70. 
that means there is more gas in the lungs, the solubility of the gas in the blood is less. So, it fastly goes to the brain and comes back soon. So, the MAC value is inversely proportional to the blood gas coefficient. Okay, friends, that's all about today I hope you all like this video. Subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.